Hello students, let today revise about the structure of spinal cord. Is the posterior extension of medulla oblongata. It is enclosed in a neural canal of vertebral column. In adult human being, it is 40 to 45 centimeter long and 2 centimeter thick. It is soft, whitish, slightly flattened, cylindrical tube with a narrow cavity called central canal. Posterior end tapers to form cornus medullaris and further into a thread-like structure called phylum terminal, which is merely the posterior extension of pi matter. It shows cervical swelling and lumbar swelling. Spinal cord act as a pathway for conduction of nerve impulses between the brain and different parts of the body. It also controls spinal reflexes and minimizes the load of the brain. Pace of spinal cord shows inner H-shaped grey matter surrounding the central canal. It contains cytons or cell bodies of neuron. Two dorsolateral horns and two ventrolateral horns give H-shaped appearance. Dorsal horn extend in dorsal root while ventral horn extent in ventral root of spinal nerves. The white matter surrounds the grey matter which divides into three columns or funiculi on either side. These are dorsal funiculi, lateral funiculi and ventral funiculi. They have the bundle of nerve fibers ascending and descending tract. Ascending tracts are sensory and conduct sensory impulses to the brain and are present in dorsal funiculi. The descending tract are motor tract and carry motor impulses from brain to spinal cord and further to motor organs like muscles and glands. These are located in ventral and lateral funiculi.